Hello guys, welcome back to Randy's DIY. Today we are looking at a Dell Chromebook 3100 and it says here that the screen is black on the ticket. So, and then we have another note inside that says screen popped. So yeah, it looks like it popped. It looks like to me that someone picked up the Chromebook just like that and cracked the screen. And we have to fix it now. So here we go. Let's get going on this thing. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use a spudger tool that has been sharpened and hardened. And uh, these things work great. I use this for just about everything I do on computers. And first thing we do is remove these little glue tabs that cover the screws. And the way you do that is go straight into the glue tab, the corner of it, and, and kind of slide around it about a quarter of the way around, and that will loosen the glue up. And that way you can remove the glue tab without, uh, is that going to focus? There you go. You remove it without cranking any of the corners. That way you can reapply them. Okay, so we'll do the same thing here. We'll get in there, we'll go about a quarter of the way around, and then we'll go under it and pop that right out. All right, down here, about a quarter of the way around and go under it at an angle and pop that tab right off of there. I'm putting them on here on my work uh, magnetic work mat. All right, quarter of the way around, or there about, whoops, that one didn't quite work right. All right, go under it and we still got it out without crinkling it too bad. Okay, so we got the four tabs removed. Now we got four screws behind those tabs. Let's go ahead and turn this guy off. Really doesn't hurt much if you turn it on, leave it on or off. It's recommended to turn it off. It's most likely probably going to come back on on you uh, while you're doing this procedure. And don't worry, it's not that big of a deal. If it comes back on, hold the power button down for six or seven seconds and it will turn back off so let's go ahead and remove these four screws one more left and there we are now as i said earlier in, in my other videos dell chromebooks uh dell chromebooks are they use a ton a ton of glue and these are these are disinfectant wipes. I usually wipe them down before I start. There it is. It turned back on. Um, so we're going to turn this guy off again. Well, let's see. We boot it up. So now we hold the power button down, and there we go. We're going to take our sharp spudger. They use a ton of double-sided tape all the way around the bezel. And the best way I've found to do it, and I don't know what the proper way of doing it is, the best way I've found to do it is start in this upper left-hand corner and just go under that edge and start slicing that glue or that double-sided tape. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get through that tape. We're not going to worry about releasing any of the clips yet. Now, there's a couple of places we need to worry about right in this area it's microphone camera and then the uh the uh antenna the the wire wi-fi antenna is right over here so we don't want to get too deep with our cutter in those areas so we're going to get up in there we're going to slide across here hold your cutter as as uh parallel as you can to the screen you don't want to go in too deep on any of that you get right here around the camera and the microphone and you drop down don't get too deep there and then when you get over here in this area you need to not go in real deep there either there is a, a Wi-Fi antenna there and we don't want to cut that if you do cut it it's not that big of a deal it, it might affect the distance that your Wi-Fi will uh, pick up service but it's very minute it, really not nothing to worry about now when you get down here on the bottom we already have a damaged screen and when we cut across here we're going to damage that screen even more 
So you just go right across there and relieving that two double sided tape. And then once you get to that point, just stick your spudger in here and kind of give it a pry up while holding it with your thumb. And uh, you can see it just, it relieves, it releases those those little clips real easily. Now on the 30, uh, what is this one? Okay, this is the 3100. The 3100, these are no longer uh, individual hinge covers. They are half clips, kind of like what's on the Lenovo. And uh, so when you get to this point, we're just gonna go across here again, relieve that double-sided tape, and then we're gonna just pry up gently out and up and you see these hinge these are half hinge covers and they're made into the bezel a much better design than the old design the other half part of the hand uh, cover is there hinge cover all right so a uh, couple of things we were able to by cutting that we were able to uh, keep our double-sided tape almost all the way around you need to inspect it and make sure that little pieces like this are not bun uh, bunched up under there or you'll have problems getting your screen to lay flat. So any of those little areas that have a uh, bunched up tape, go ahead and pull those off and just leave your, your uh, tape there. All right, we'll set that back there out of the way. And uh, you'll notice a couple of things here. Uh, First of all, we got this uh, Mylar tape that covers the, uh, the video cable in that, that corner area. I usually don't even put that back in, but I will in this case. Um, so the next things we're gonna do is we're gonna remove one, two, three, four. Um, there's some more of that screen that's coming off that we pulled off of the tape earlier. So we're going to remove these four screws, and they have little triangles beside them. I guess uh, that sort of indicates uh, the screw to remove the, the screen with. So we're going to remove these four screws. These are all PH1, I believe. Yeah, PH1. Um, bit size and here on these the we're going to use our spudger again like i said i use a spudger for everything uh we're going to use that spudger and we're going to start peeling that tape up and there's two layers of tape on these there's this uh i don't know what that is it's a metal braid or something and then underneath that you'll see here there's a clear uh, layer of tape and this clear layer usually comes up with this braided layer if you start from the outside corner. If you start back here, you're gonna to to peel two layers up. So I recommend starting on the corners. Now you'll have this little foam blue pad underneath there. So we're gonna pull that blue sticky pad up, double-sided tape pad, stick it over here. And then there's one little latch that goes all the way across the video connector. You can go in from the corners and pop that latch up. Hopefully you can see that. So maybe right in there, can you see that latch? Uh, let's see, where is, where is it? Right in there, little wire latch. All right, so fold the wire latch back, stick it to the tape, and then use the tape and the latch to unplug it. it slides directly that direction. Okay, so we're gonna pull this screen out, rope, broken screen and I'm gonna pause the video while I go get a replacement screen okay back with the replacement screen and this does have a protective cover on it so face down on the keyboard we're gonna grab our tape and our little metal rod and we're going to line this up carefully and slide it right back into the slot so we're sliding it in this direction that way. Um, now we're going to release the, let's see if I get my hand out of the way, release this little 
clip from the tape. We're going to push down on that side. We're going to push down on this side, and you'll hear it click when it snaps into place. And then we're not going to forget about our little blue foam pad. It's more of a spacer, I guess. So we're going to stick that down there, right on top of the connector and the little wire that we just snapped down. And then we're going to lay our tape back over and press it down good. And on these models, those little troughs are they're taped down so that wire can't come loose. And we're going to stand our string back up, lay it into position, and you will see. Uh, you'll notice that there are two holes in your string on each one of these. One of the holes goes in the alignment pin, and then the other hole where it is the triangle where your screw goes. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Put these screws in. I would normally go ahead and turn the unit on at this point to uh, verify that we got the connection made good, but I'm pretty certain that we did and for time's sake on the video we're not going to go through that step. So what I usually do on these is I'll screw them in until we get a, a snug fit and then try to go about a, another sixteenth to an eighth of a turn. It's about all you'll get out of it without stripping the screw. Um, all right, so there's the four screws. Uh, it is mounted back in place. We're going to grab our, I believe this stuff's called Mylar tape. And we're going to put this Mylar tape right back where we got it earlier over this video cable. And there it is. All right. So everything should be about like it was before we took it apart. We're going to remove our protective coating from the screen. And I would like to turn this guy on now to make sure that we didn't miss anything before we snap that bezel back in place. And voila, we have a new perfectly working Chromebook now. Uh, waiting for signing, but we still got to finish our installation. We're going to finish our reassembly. So let's hit the power button, power off, grab our screen bezel. And the way we put these on, I like to kick it back a little bit of an angle and then set it in straight up and down and just kind of wiggle it and jiggle it until you can see these little brass yeah, until you can see those little brass inserts through these holes when you see those brass inserts let's see if I can get that up there where you see there can you see that you can see that brass shiny brass in the hole so when you see those brass inserts shining through you know you're in the right place start down here at the bottom where those brass inserts are kind of push inward and uh, against your pinch, pinch the screen and push kind of inward on the front fascia. And uh, that will snap right together. Here you're going to press downward and in and down on the fascia. And then what I like to do, if you flip it over, you'll see that these are not uh, pinched together and they are hard to get to pinch together. So the best thing I have found, I mean, you can press all you want to with your fingers. It's really hard to do. The best thing I have found for getting these back together is close the lid about that much and reach in here. A pair of needle nose will work better than these, but reach in here and give it a little pinch on the side, right here on the side, right here in the middle, and then again right here on the side. Oops, not quite far enough. Right there on the side and right there. So one, two, three, four different places. And actually over here on these outsides too. We'll give those a little pinch. Now, the only thing left, when you close it all the way together, you'll see that these hinge covers still have a gap there. So we'll grab these.
with our pliers. Okay. So we open our lid up and it is now time to put our four screws back in. On these screws, again, I like to tighten these down until we feel resistance and then give them a, about a quarter of a turn, eighth to a quarter of a turn once you feel that resistance. There's the resistance. I'll give it about an eighth of a turn extra. All right, and we're gonna pick up our little glue tabs. I usually just stick the glue tab right there on my spudger and then lay it in the hole. Hold it with your thumb. And give it a little rub to make sure it's seated and stuck good. Oops. All right, so there again. And then we'll just Put that right over the hole, hold it with our thumb, and pretty much done. There's our tab. Put it right there with the screw hole. And press it down real good. Okay, and there you have a repaired Chromebook. Works like new. Great looking screen. Um, that's all we got for you today. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned anything, uh, please subscribe and click that little bell notification so you'll get notifications of any new videos I put out. We constantly are working on uh, different types of Chromebooks and, and laptops and whatnot. And when I have time, I go ahead and video the repair so some of you guys uh, might, might use it to save yourself some money. Anyway, thank you very much and have a blessed day.